In the past nine months, the question I've been asked the most is why? Why now? Why was I sticking my head above the parapet? You can read between the lines in those questions, and the answer has nothing to do with politics. The top note answer was and is because it's time. Time to stop tiptoeing around my past, time to stop living a life of opprobrium, and time to take back my narrative. Monica Lewinsky back in the headlines delivering a passionate TED Talk this week calling for an end to cyberbullying. So let's bring in the roundtable, Democratic strategist and CNN commentator Van Jones, Oklahoma Congressman Tom Cole, Steve Inskeep, host of NPR's Morning Edition, and our own Cokie Roberts. Good morning to everyone. Morning. Cokie, I want to start with you. You, you were watching Lewinsky. The people in the audience seemed to respond and to covered, her message. It covered the story like a cheap suit. <laughs> <laughs> so does the country reassess what happened 20 years ago? How, how, how are we supposed to look at that? I, I think that, you, that people bring to it whatever prejudices they already had. Uh, but in her case, look, she, she clearly wants to be in the limelight. You don't do this unless you want to be in the limelight. But if she's using the limelight to, to, for a good cause, more power to her. I was kind of struck listening to her talking about how awful the, the Internet can be, the social media, the bullying, all of that. Because it was very similar to what the Romney family said about not running for president again. <laughs> you know, it's brutal out there. Steve, what about the message of, of cyberbullying and shaming? Is well, is it's it a, the it's, right message? It's a her? very real thing. We're actually expecting to interview an author who has an entire book about the culture of shaming, the way that people can be flamed permanently in a moment. And so while people may cringe that Monica Lewinsky is out there again, I watched the TED Talk. It's rather interesting. She's reaching out and talking about other people and other people's experiences. And it's never really a bad thing to try to understand what's happening to someone else, particularly someone else on the other side of that digital divide who you can reach in an instant, you can destroy in an instant, but you may not realize and it. I She'd being. be in the spotlight no matter what. Well, so unless, she might as well do something good. Unless she decided good. to, you know, change her name or get married and take her husband's good, name. Good and... luck with that. Yeah, good, <laughs> good luck with changing the name. And, uh, Congressman Cole, were you, were you cringing no, when well, you watched that? No, not cringing, but uh, count me as somewhat skeptical that the timing is purely coincidental. <laughs> uh, but uh, look, it's, it's an important message. She certainly has a right to make whatever statement she cares to make, and she's gone through a lot. So, uh, you know, it's probably a teachable moment, but I don't think it's a particularly profound moment. And, and she says yeah. it's not political. She doesn't really mention the Clintons, particularly <laughs> sure. Hillary Clinton. But uh, listen, I, I think everybody, and I think that would be all 300 million Americans who've ever made a, a joke with Lewinsky as a punchline, should watch this talk. It was riveting. Uh, she's much smarter, she's deeper psychologically, historically than I expected. And I think that she actually makes a point that a lot of people can identify with. Obviously, people have sympathy for Hillary Clinton. I think that a lot of people now feel fear that they're going to be uh, cyber bullied or they're going to have their personal lives exposed. And she spoke about it in a way, I think, punchline no more, good on Monica Lewinsky. And, and I think she's really talking to a younger generation as well.